so here's the base station again so you've seen what the telescope can see now this is 48 hours in let's see what you can see with the naked eye after 48 hours and I'm really struggling to see anything at all so without the telescope or microscope whatever you want to call it we would not be seeing anything right now and sea monkeys again 48 hours nothing nothing at all there we will put the microscope on the sea monkeys next and see if we can see any of those today we did see them yesterday so I'm hoping we shall see some today Okay, so here's the sea monkeys and we're 48 hours in. Now we've got the telescope here just moving around, adjusting the focus, adjusting the brightness of the light and I'm hoping that we're going to see some of these almost baby sea monkeys pretty quickly. There's one there, so we, they, they're getting attracted to the light, they're coming over. There's other little bits and bobs floating around in the liquid there that you can probably see. So I might need to just adjust the brightness of the light a little bit, see if I can attract them over. Now they're very small, you wouldn't see them now with the naked eye. There's one there. So it's just a case of getting this tiny microscope in the position where you can see the, um, the sea monkeys coming into focus. Um, not as easy as I thought it would be because they are very small and they seem to be quite shy. We'll have to see if the aqua dragons are a bit more lively. But at this stage, there they are. There's a few there, so they're certainly moving fast. That's good shots. You can see them now. There's definitely life in there. And they're swimming around nicely, so they're healthy. I can see other little tiny things moving in the in the water there. But yeah, good to see that they're there. Good to see that they're um, they're living and breathing. So hopefully we'll get a few more shots for you before we move on to the aqua dragons and see just how developed they were uh, in 48 hours. Sorry, see how developed they are since 48 hours since we put the um, waters in. So getting quite a lot of um, sea monkeys there flying around, or should I say swimming around. I'm pleased with that, I think that's a good test. I think without the microscope we wouldn't have seen these at 48 hours in but it's promising that in just 48 hours, you've got this bustling life in the tank and hopefully within a few days, we'll see them bigger and bigger so we can look at them without the telescope, without the need to use this telescope to see them. So here's the base station again. And again, we'll just see if we can actually see them with the naked eye. Now I'm still really struggling don't know what you're gonna get on camera there but um, I'm definitely seeing him with the microscope and this is where the microscopes looking and we'll cut back to the microscope you see them there they are very very small still so aqua dragons now and again, 48 hours in. Already I'm seeing a lot of movement there. This is actually really promising. So I've not quite got them in focus yet, but there seems to be a lot more going on here than we did with the sea monkeys. Um, so much more actually I, I didn't even have to search for them this tank must be full of these little baby sea monkeys or brine shrimp so what we'll do we'll just um, see if we can get a slightly better focus on these maybe get a better shot you can see its little arms there can't you, you can see its arms floating around they're not even in their correct shape yet they don't really look they don't really look like what they're gonna evolve into but you can just see the the shape of the the arms they swim around with they're going to get a lot more arms as they as they mature 
I think you can sometimes see the eye or the eyes. They generally have two big eyes when they fully develop. And I believe they start with one eye and I think they develop two more and drop the middle eye as they progress through their development. But we'll see if we can get some shots, hopefully, of, of these little creatures. Um, as I said before, with the sea monkeys, they're very small, very hard to see them with the naked eye, if at all. The microscope does help and there's a small light on the microscope and what the light does is it kind of attracts them to the light so you've more chance of seeing them with the microscope when you turn the light bright so I'm hoping we'll get some more shots there's a big one at the top there not much now another one there coming down see these are very underdeveloped Nothing like what they will look like later on, so please continue with the series. Um, we'll get some shots as they develop, as they evolve. I'm hoping actually in the future, I'm hoping if all goes well, I can show you some of these, these creatures breeding because they do hook onto each other and breed. And then maybe we can see some younger baby ones coming through again in like um, in the colony. So that would be good to see. But on the whole, I think the Aqua Dragons are doing well. It's a lot easier to spot them. They don't seem to be as shy as the Sea Monkeys were. They seem a lot um, more lively, a lot more going on, more exuberant. There's more of them in the tank. Now, what this will equate to, I don't know, because the Sea Monkeys are tried and tested. They've been around a long time. Aqua Dragons are the new kids on the block. The tanks are very flash. They're very nice. Lots of um, decor on them. They've even got a light in them and a pump to pump oxygen into the tank. But the sea monkeys have got heritage. They've been around since the 70s, perhaps even the 60s. So I think it'll be interesting as this series progresses to see which ones win through. Although at the moment, I would have to give it to the Aqua Dragons. We're only 48 hours in, it's all to play for. And I can certainly change my mind as we progress through the series. But I think the Aqua Dragons seemed easier to hatch out the process wasn't a three-stage process, it was a two-stage process, it was simpler. You put the water purifier in on the sea monkeys, wait of 24 hours, then you put the eggs in, then you start to see, then you start to see the creatures. With the aqua dragons, you just put the water purifier and the eggs in at the same time, and it seems to do the job very much quicker. Um, the, other, the only other package you've got then is your food, so They've simplified it with the Aqua Dragons, and to be honest with you, the results seem to be equally as good. You know, we're getting a good a good yield on on count there. Lots of creatures swimming around, and they're certainly no smaller than the sea monkeys. In a few days, we'll see which ones develop faster, which ones develop bigger, and it may well be that the sea monkeys, because of the heritage and the fact they've been around a long time, they may well be the better developed of the two. But um, we'll have to see. We'll have to see how we go. So I hope you've enjoyed watching a few of these. And hopefully you can join us in the next episode. Where we'll be 72 hours in. So we're 48 hours in now. You can imagine how much bigger and more lively they're going to be when we get to 72 hours. So I'll leave you now to watch these for a little longer. And I'll see you on the next episode.